G'day. How do we approach this integral? Well, notice the derivative of the top, at least the expression inside, the derivative of x plus 1 is 1, which is not 1 over x squared, and the derivative of what's on the bottom is 2x, which is not what we have on top. So we don't have a classic logarithmic structure where the derivative is over the function, otherwise we'd have a 2x up there, and we don't have a normal power uh, model where the derivative of the uh, function inside is out the front. This is where we do consider expanding and I'll show you what we get. If we expand the top, certainly because it's a small power, uh, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1 because it's just a perfect square over x squared dx. You understand that the thought processes are important, the things you test out to analyse an integral. Now here, you can see very definitely the derivative of the bottom is, is not the top, or vice versa, so we have to separate these three terms out as x squared over x squared plus 2x over x squared plus 1 over x squared dx to make three smaller functions. Now this is very very simple. This is the integral of 1. This is the integral of 2 over x and this one I'm going to write as x to the minus 2. Now why didn't I write this as 2 to the minus x? 2 times x to the minus 1. The reason I didn't is this pattern I recognise because the derivative of x is 1 and that's basically what I have on the top I have 2 times 1 if we have a constant so this is a logarithmic pattern whereas this wasn't the derivative of, two of x squared is 2x which we don't have there so we treat this as a power of x now integrating the integral of 1 is x the integral of this because it's 1 over x is log x and the derivative and the integral of that we add the power add 1 to the power so we get x to the minus 1 over minus 1 plus c and if we tidy that up we get x plus 2 log x minus because we have a positive over a negative is minus we don't need the 1 on the bottom and x to the minus 1 we can write as 1 on x and that would be a nice complete solution well, let's leave it at that I hope the analysis and the explanation has made sense to you and helped you thank you for watching